Okay, so we get asked a lot on how we apply the tape uh, at the ends of our braids instead of using rubber bands uh, and hair ties. And the reason we use the tape is you can, the bands, the little small, like, I don't know, the little itty bitty rubber bands that a lot of people use, uh, over time, if you leave them in too long, they tend to cut through the hair. You have to put them in tight, you have to do them up tight. Um, and if you leave them in too long, they start to cut through the hair. Well, it's a bummer to grow a big mane if every time you braid and you finish your braid here, you're just cutting that hair off and thinning it out. Um, so we're gonna show you how we do the tape. We're just gonna braid this all the way down. We took his hair out of the braids to wash it and condition it and redo it, but we took a break real quick just to show you how we put this tape on. I'm not a professional braider, so save your harassing comments to yourself. Like it to be real 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 thin because then your tape really isn't gonna stay in. It all kind of depends on the horse's individual mane, how thick it is, um, how much it thins out towards the bottom. Right here when I get down to these smaller diameter braids I'm gonna quit about right here. I lay the tape across the bottom of that braid. Notice I'm going across the last couple crosses in that braid. I'll fold it over and pinch it, get it to adhere to itself and then I'll go around one time so it's adhered to itself. I can really pull tight on it. And that's the great thing about using electrical tape is see that stretch? It stretches without cutting through the hair. With a rubber band, if you pull on that and stretch it, it cuts through that hair. So I'll pull tight, wrap it. Pull tight, wrap it. Pull tight, wrap it. And that's all I'll do for that braid. I pinch the braid where it's taped, hold the tape right there where it comes out of the roll, and just pull. It'll tear. And then this tail, that I call it the tail, I'll fold it over, rub it smooth. If you don't, what'll happen is you'll get debris up underneath that tape and it'll start to unravel itself. So then I'll just seal it up. And that's it. Uh, things that will prevent this tape from sticking really well are doing it too loose or not tight enough. Make sure you really tug on it, make it tight. Um, you're not gonna cut through that hair. That's why we recommend using the tape. Uh, make sure that it's free of like detangler, conditioner. If that's slick, that tape isn't gonna stay in. It's not gonna, essentially it's about kind of adhering to the hair that it's touching. And then the tape, the more you wrap, the more it adheres to itself, but it really is gonna stick to that hair. Um, which brings on another point, in the hot summer months, if you're taking that tape off and it leaves a gunky mess, you're leaving it on too long. Um, don't leave them on so long. Take it off, wash it, put it on again. Um, we've left it on too long in the summer months. We're in southern Utah, it gets hot, and we do have a problem with that occasionally, but it's usually only when we leave them on too long, and it's really not a big deal. If there's a little bit of adhesive gunk, wash it out. It's not gonna harm the hair. Um, again, make sure you don't braid too low that you don't have enough hair for that to hang on to, um, but also don't leave, don't do it up too high to where all this excess hair is is susceptible to the elements and getting caught and waved out, um, switched out. So hope that tip helps you. Biomain out.